veering off to the north northwest at 10 miles per hour. Now, this is going to pose a threat to Turks and Caicos, parts of Hispaniola, places that just got a lashing by Hurricane Irma. We could see some rip currents and some high swells over the next 48 hours. Yes, are you serious, folks? There's still some lingering danger with Hurricane Jose, believe it or not, as it's looping back. Now, it's going to create quite a bit of storm surge, um, ripped currents, tropical winds, probably some hail, and that kind of stuff along, along the east coast there. But there is several computer spaghetti models showing it turning and looping back and headed in the direction of Washington, D.C. I'm not sure if that will actually make any kind of a major impact, but we can't totally rule Jose out. Matter of fact, BP Earthwatch does have a very good video on this where he explains and shows the actual spaghetti models. All of the spaghetti models show it drifting in the area toward Washington, D.C., Baltimore, Maryland, maybe Philadelphia, along that coast there, Virginia, Delaware, Maryland type area. But not, not anything of major concern, not, not some kind of category two or three storm or something. But we will keep an eye on it because for whatever reason, we just can't get Jose to go away. So we'll continue to watch it. Of course, our major concerns are Hurricane Maria and the devastation of Puerto Rico. Well, my prayers are going out for Puerto Rico. We got a lot of wonderful Christians there, a lot of brothers and sisters. Please pray for Puerto Rico. Please pray for our brothers and sisters in Puerto Rico. And uh, I understand the United States government is going to step up its efforts. There will be the Navy, and there will be uh, certainly coming uh, with supplies, food, water. And, of course, it's going to take a lot of work to put the power back on in that country when the entire island nation of 3.4 million people are in the dark uh, it's, it's a significant uh, number one priority is get the power back on. So pray for the people of Puerto Rico and pray that the storm Jose doesn't hit Washington. Are you serious?